Hello, this is Dr. Says and Mark the Nitpicker brought in once again to do another stupid YouTube video. And what stupid video are we doing today? Sonic Adventure 2 on the GameCube. They've done a few wee changes from the Dreamcast version. They've updated the textures and the levels and they've expanded the multiplayer, but not too much is being done. Okay, so there's two stories in this. You have the hero story and the dark story. The hero story is Sonic's being taken prisoner on a helicopter because Gun have mistaken him as being a black hedgehog that has been causing mayhem and mischief. Why the hell the police would want to arrest Sonic considering the fact that he just saved the goddamn city from a giant water monster is beyond me. Sonic breaks out. I don't know how he survives the fall but all he has is a board. Well they keep referring to it as a ski board but technically it's actually just a bit of the airplane door or helicopter or whatever the f*** it is the police are captured Sonic gun and he's pretty much just taking a chunk out of it and floating away with it. So he acts like the Incredible Hulk taking a chunk out of the helicopter. Sonic falls from the sky, he somehow survives and he's skateboarding down the road, escaping gun. After he does that, he meets Shadow the Hedgehog who is holding a Chaos Emerald. Shadow shows him Chaos Control and disappears. It's up to Sonic and the gang to chase after Eggman who is behind Shadow's evil deeds and try and stop him. Just the usual Sonic story. Not really, considering the fact <laughs> the previous Sonic stories were mostly just Sonic having to stop Eggman from capturing little animals and trying to build Robotnik Land or whatever the hell it was he wanted to conquer the world for. Well, I suppose it's a similar premise to Sonic Adventure 1, where they have to stop Dr. Eggman instead of Chaos, it's Shadow, but it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, you got me there. So now we have the dark story where Dr. Eggman has penetrated Gun Headquarters to search for the hidden secret weapon. Weapon. But he finds a black hedgehog and he goes, Sonic? Is that you? Why are you here ruining my plans again? When it obviously is not Sonic because it's a black hedgehog. What, is Eggman racist or something? He releases Shadow. Shadow defeats a gun robot and he tells Eggman that he can grant him a wish. And Eggman's like, what did you mean you can grant me a wish? Meet me on the Space Colony Arc. Shadow, wait! The Space Colony Arc, in case you're wondering, is a weapon of mass destruction capable of destroying the Earth. Nothing to worry about. Each story has three main modes. There is the 3D platforming of Sonic and Shadow. You have the treasure hunting with Rouge and Knuckles. And then you have the shooting with Tails and Robotnik. Now, we will start with the running levels. Well, these are actually my favourite levels of the entire game. And mine. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll probably end up saying that they're probably my only favourite part of the entire game. If you love the treasure hunting and the shooting levels, that's fine. That's okay. I, they're just not my thing. I, I'm just one of those guys that just prefers the, the running levels. Just to me, that's what Sonic is. Just running. You're the purest. The Sonic purest. Pretty much. I like the change. Now, I wish there was more running levels and less of the other stuff. Shadow only gets four levels, so he sort of gets the rough end of the stick. It's just weird because he's supposed to be the highlight of this game. The running levels are pretty standard. If you've played Sonic Adventure 1, you'll know what you're getting here. Lots of running and jumping on enemies. But no hub worlds. No hub worlds. Worlds, is you just choose the level and get on with it. My second favourite was the treasure hunting because you still have the speed but you're looking for the Master Emerald. The story's a bit different from Sonic's. Eggman tries to steal the Master Emerald and Knuckles punches it and scatters it into several pieces just like the first game. It's up to Rouge and Knuckles to hunt after the Master Emerald. Knuckles wants to restore the Master Emerald so to keep the earth in balance and Rouge's goal is to get all the treasure in the world. The self Sometimes this is a pain in the arse because it can be hidden in a really well place and it takes you 20 minutes to complete the stage looking for everything. Guys, I'm sorry to say this, but I just cannot stand the treasure hunting levels. To me, they're they're just a wee bit too long, a wee bit too far-fetched. I hate having to listen to that godforsaken beeping sound <laughs> every time you're nearly emerald. Well, for me, the weakest, although I still like it, is the shooting levels with Dr. Eggman and Tails. You can hold on the B button to lock onto a bunch of enemies and shoot energy blasts. You can hover, you can shoot wee pellets at them. It, it slows the game down a wee bit. I know you didn't really like the platform, 
platforming in this? The platforming for me is a little jaunting. Uh, I especially just do not like the sections where you're in the middle of a road, all of a sudden there's like a brick wall or something in front of you and you have to repeatedly have to shoot the blast at thing in order to get through. Sections where you're hovering in the air can be a little slowing at times for me so I'm not too keen on the shooting levels myself unfortunately. I do however think that the boss fights with the shooting levels are intensely fun. They're very on beat. The music that plays during them is uh, really, it's, it's like it makes you want to, you know, yeah, I want to shoot the crap out of Eggman or Teals. The same goes with the running levels, like that awesome rock music is just so awesome. It just ups the beat, it makes you want to go fast, hurry up and quickly get to the gold ring. Just, it pumps me up, really. Crash 40 have done an amazing job in this game and it's my favourite soundtrack in a Sonic game. I thought the boss battles were too easy, especially if you get all the parps, you can just defeat them very quickly. I didn't like the voice acting in this game, Tails especially is very cringeworthy. The story was pretty interesting for a Sonic game, I must admit. Like, this was one of the one of the first times they really tried to up the ante with for a kid's game, really. Like, like I said, Sonic was originally started off with just, you know, a little hedgehog, you know, just going around, attacking robots, freeing little animals, stopping a, a mean, fat, evil scientist trying to take over the world, and going from that to something like the world about to end, the moon being blown up, and dark and light storylines, and the subplot of Shadow's back story is very dark for I suppose a kids game at this age. I mean let's be honest that like Maria is probably one of the few child characters to, to die for Sonic game. Let's be honest that it's not it's not shown in context obviously. It's not physically stated that she is you know dead. Clearly go out and say oh she's dead you know but for kids game that especially Sonic game that really is kind of dark and all and the grip dark knight feel of Shadow you know wanting revenge in all of humanity for, for her death and all it's, it's really up the ante for Sonic game. I actually thought Maria was an adult, and I didn't find out until Shadow the Hedgehog game that she was a child. Two player is really fun experience for this game. It's fun to race against your opponent in the racing sections. It's fun to shoot your opponent in the shooting sections, and for you treasure hunting lovers out there, it can be fun to find the treasure first before your opponents. Yeah. Each character has their own special powers, like they collect a certain amount of rings. It usually involves the racing speed up attack and stop time Amy is completely broken of this all she has to do is collect rings and she goes yeah just wait a minute just wait a minute just wait a minute which gets very grinding as I'm sure Mark knows because I always use Amy on him well basically if your opponent or yourself have picked Amy you've already run the race and the opposite is Metal Sonic. Although he's faster and can jump over obstacles more, he can't use any special moves. All he can do is use a shield, and you pretty much have to stay completely still using the shield, so it's pointless, which is a shame because he's the coolest character. Uh, the shooting levels are pretty basic. The hero child's faster, and the dark child's more powerful but slower, so I just preferred using Tails and Eggman for the best of both worlds. If you've played the boss battles between Tails and Eggman, you know it's the same thing and then finally we have the treasure hunting which is the same as what you were doing in the levels the first person to find all the pieces of the master emerald wins it's interesting because when you click the computer both people see the hint then you have to decide should i talk to the computer because it'll also help my opponent the girl who guards chaos she is probably the best character to be because she's the fastest although she's a bit harder to find emeralds with the worst one to be is chaos i thought he was just too slow he's good of combat you're never really gonna need Need him because if you're treasure hunting you're not fighting people the go karting was a guilty pleasure of ours it is by no means uh holds up the mario kart but it was a nice little distraction the child world is very complex you can raise your own child as you help them evolve into an adult you can take them to school you can make them take part in events like races you can give them animals to transform them you can feed them you can pet them it's like your own tamagotchi only there's more depth to this i'm surprised sega didn't do this more in their future games because a lot of people really enjoyed this. There was even an exclusive link up feature with the Game Boy Advance. I never used it but I assume it was fun. Overall I give this game a 5 out of 5. There's some things that aren't perfect about it like the camera can be a wee bit jolty at times. I just love the story, the lore of Sonic Adventure too. I love the gameplay uh, being Sonic and Shadow. It's just so streamlined, 60 frames per second. I don't mind the shooting levels and the treasure hunting. 
I think it it provides a, an all round brilliant package. I think the game still holds up today. I don't know why it got such bad reviews online, but I think everyone deserves to give it a chance. You can see on Steam the reviews are quite high, so I think that shows the quality of the game. Believe it or not, Sonic Adventure 2 was for the longest time my personal favourite Sonic game until Sonic Generations. The rhythm levels are my selling point for the game. Okay guys, that is our opinion on Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, please leave a comment in below what is your favourite Sonic game and tell us why and what do you think of this game. Alright, thanks for watching. Thank you very much.